Veko, Sweden. People here say they live in Europe's greenest city. There's one man in particular who's primarily responsible for energy efficiency and sustainability in Veku, and that's Henrik Johansson. He's the city's environment coordinator, and his aim is to make Veku even more energy efficient. We decided back in 1996 to make the city fossil fuel free, and that means increasing energy efficiency as well as using renewable energy. For those who run the city, efficiency means creating smart structures that reduce energy consumption. Energy efficiency is important for everybody, not just from an environmental point of view, but also for economic reasons. We have to make best use of the resources we have, and that pays off financially too. Buildings in particular use a lot of energy, and that is why the city has focused on the construction sector. With support from the EU, they've initiated highly efficient new constructions, including Sweden's largest new timber build. Unlike the usual buildings typical for the country, these buildings have, amongst other features, insulation that is 35 centimeters thick and triple glazed windows. Results have exceeded all expectations. The original aim was to use 30% less energy than the national requirement. Veku has managed to undercut it by nearly 60%, to 60 kilowatt hours per square meter per year. In the passive houses, 45 kilowatt hours has been achieved. Like the rest of the city, these buildings are powered and heated by this modern polygeneration plant. It's based entirely on converting wood chips into electricity, heating and cooling. Today, Johan Saltin is explaining the plant to Henrik and his colleague. Our chillers in the polygeneration plant are operated by heat, and this heat is generated from wood chips that we get from Smallands forests. Such wood chips consist mainly of wood waste. We collect it in trucks from within a hundred kilometers radius and store it here. Let's go to the plant. The wood chips are transported to the boiler on a conveyor belt. Over there we have a day silo where the wood chips are collected before they go into the boiler. Let's have a look inside. To produce cooling energy, the chillers need hot water, which is heated up in the boiler. The first step away from oil was made in 1980, when the old oil boiler was modified to become a highly efficient bio-boiler. Here we can see that the chiller is set at 5.8 degrees. That is what we deliver to the network. As we have cables in the ground and under the sea, we have to set it at a lower temperature to ensure that our customers get cold water at 6 degrees. One of the buildings supplied with cooling from the polygeneration plant is the hospital. When we produce energy, if you produce energy, you should try to do it as efficiently as possible. This is particularly so for our combined heat and power plant, where we produce heating and cooling for the district system, as well as electricity. By doing this, we use our resources in the most efficient way possible. This is why Johansson also visits Sweden's first plus energy house and the test family, which moved in two months ago. Inspired by, but not part of Concerto, the house's solar collectors and photovoltaic system produce even more energy than the house actually consumes. A smart display informs the residents about their consumption. This is the start screen where it's easy to see how much electricity and district heat we're consuming. It's showing minus. That means it's producing more than we're using. Yes, exactly. You can set the temperature of each room upstairs as well as here on the ground floor. Displays like this have also been used in the timber builds since an accompanying study proved the effectiveness of the display feedback system. It showed that 34% less electricity is used in apartments that have a display system compared to those that don't. It's just one way to introduce energy efficiency into the household. If we manage to make energy efficiency become absolutely standard so that people don't need to think about it anymore, then we'll have succeeded. After all, our people are smart enough. Då har vi nått hela vägen fram. Tack vare det här projektet så har vi även kunnat 
We've taken some important steps towards our goal of energy efficiency. We will continue even when the Concerto project has come to an end. We've set even higher goals, and that feels very good.